The Lord's anointed is before him. Amen. Amen. He said, surely the Lord's anointed is before me. Amen. Why? He was looking at the outward appearance. Come on out here. This is Eliab right here. Fine specimen of a man. No, I'm serious here. And uh, he said, this has got to be. Look how tall he is. Amen. Look how handsome. Look how muscular. Amen. He looks like a warrior. He looks like he needs to be king. Let's see if he was. He said, surely he's standing before me. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on his height of his stature. Amen. Tall guy. That's right. Because I have refused him, for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Amen. Amen. God looking for something that we ain't looking for. Amen. Now, if the devil's talked you into using this scripture to justify your two piece bikini, you need to go back and pray. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Somebody come in showing nothing. You ain't got to guess what they got because they hanging it out all over. And says, God, don't look on what's on the outside. Amen. Looks on the inside. We used to look naked. We can see what's on the inside. But amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen to this. But the Lord looking on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made it pass before Samuel. Y'all can have a seat. Y'all can. I'm going to read a long time. Hallelujah. <laughs> and then he calls Abinadab in. Now Abinadab... He probably looking. Come over here, man. This is a bit of damn. Amen. You got anything you can step up on? You ain't calling up. Huh? A bit of that comes in, and sh you know Samuel's probably thinking the same thing he thought before because all of Jesse's boys, except one, look like king material. Amen. Yeah. 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 He'll do. Look at that muscle. Hallelujah. <laughs> He can slay the Philistines with that right there, I tell you, amen. But he looks good. Amen. He looks good. That's the man I want right there. But God says, no, you look good, son, but that ain't him either. Amen. That ain't him. That ain't gonna work. He says, a better dad and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither hath the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shama to pass by. Amen. Got any volunteers for Shama? Probably not after what I just did. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come here, brother. You in the blue shirt with that tie on. Hallelujah. Right there. Second row. Come here. You can be Shama. Amen. He's a powerful man, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at this. This is bound to be the king. Look at him. Now, this guy's handy. He's better looking than the other two. Amen. Amen. Looks stronger. I believe he can do it. This right here is going to be the king. But you know what? God said, no, Shama ain't it either. Amen. Shama ain't the one I'm looking for neither. See, we, we overlook those, hallelujah, that God would use. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We don't think God would use uh, some of the people that he uses. Amen. Amen. Well, oh, they ain't got a nice enough car. I heard one person say that they were told not to park their car in front of the church because it was a disgrace. <laughs> We don't want people thinking that God makes you drive out on junk and don't heap, amen? So park that thing a block away and walk to church. You know what I'd have told them? Bye, I'll find me somewhere else to go, amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Your car don't look good enough. You ain't got good enough education. See, we got churches that have you turn in a resume. Oh, my. Yes. Amen? Instead of seeking God and saying, God, send us somebody that will lead us. Send us somebody that will pray. Send us somebody that can preach under the anointing of the Word of God. They say, let us see your resume. Amen? Yeah. I've had a couple of churches have me come try out. Yeah. I never hear from one no more. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right. Had one after me and they wanted me, but I didn't want them. Actually, I did want them, but God didn't want me to have them. And that later I found out why God didn't want me to have them. They wanted me. Amen? Y'all following all that, ain't you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to this. Shama, that wasn't what the Lord wanted either. Verse 10. 1 Samuel 16 chapter. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons. Now, I ain't going to make seven of you come up here, but you get the picture by now by looking at these fine specimens of manhood that I just brought up here. The, that made all of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. Now, listen, Daddy ain't even brought little David up here. <laughs> Samuel says, surely you got, is that all you got? 
They look great to me, but God's saying no. How many times does something look good to you? God was saying no, but you went ahead and did it anyway. Amen? And got in trouble. Amen? Say, but I want it, I want it, I want it. Well, you better be careful. Sooner or later, He'll let you have it. Amen? And I mean He'll let you have it. Amen? Hallelujah. I tell you, if something happened to me, but my people done hurt it. Well, I'll tell you anyway. We went to Carlisle and we looked at the car with Oscar. Man, that thing was sharp. Shiny. It wasn't a, you know, it wasn't the newest model, but it was one of those that somebody, Granny done kept that thing sharp. Amen? She kept it in the garage. She might have drove it to the quick pick. Amen? Get her lottery ticket or something like that. Amen? Hallelujah. I mean, you grannies do that. Hallelujah. But she might have drove it down to IJ and get her eggs, but she didn't drive very much. And I said, God, I want that. He said, no. I said, but God, I want that. He said, no. I said, but God, I want that. He said, no. I said, God, I want that. He said, all right, I'm going to let you have it. And he gave it to me. And at the time, I was going to a church that had about seven associate pastors, and I was one of the preachers there, and all of them, you know, drove some nice, fancy stuff. I wanted to fit in with them. So, you know, I'd get out there in that car. I'd make sure I wore it shiny, drive it down the road, waving at my preacher friend. wonder if he's out today. I'm going to drive by and see him. If he is, I'm going to blow the horn and wave out the window. Amen. Good to see you, brother. God bless you, my friend. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Driving down through there in that fancy car. I worked at Walmart at the time. Coming home from work one morning real late. I was coming down the road and I was feeling good. Woo! And you know, I just looked at it. It was a good smooth ride, man. Amen. I got about halfway home and I heard something go boom. <laughs> And I got out to see what it was, and that sucker was blowing the spark plugs out of the engine. Amen? <laughs> I stick it in, I'd go about three miles down the road, and boom! Blew it out again. So finally, here I am, driving that car, one of my preacher friends to see me in. I'd get in and drive around a little more, and I'd pray, God, please don't let them be out today. Because it sounded like a helicopter coming down Main Street. Amen? You could hear me two blocks away from the... I said, Lord, if you let me get rid of this piece of junk, amen, it wasn't so pretty anymore, hallelujah. My preacher friends would be out and I could just be down below, behind those steering wheel and God, please don't let them see me, please don't let them see me. Amen. We go late to church just so make sure everybody's in before we pull up, amen. They can probably hear us. Boom, 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 boom. Amen. Hey, the rapture taking place, or somebody just does pulling up in that old fair lane. Amen. Well, anyway, the Lord finally said, "All right, you had enough." I said, "Oh yeah." Take it back where you got it. So me and Mama, we headed up the road to the car lot, and we come this one hill. I thought I was going to have to make Mama get out and push it over. Amen? And they just go. You can ask the Spencers, their bus passed us while we was climbing the hill, wasn't right? it? Didn't even right there, that's why I don't listen to them no more, they didn't stop to help me. <laughs> God probably didn't let them stop to help me, eh? <laughs> oh, Kevin might have thought, I may need to stop to help him, the Lord said, no, leave him alone, amen. I got him right where I want him, hallelujah. He wanted it, I'm giving it to him. So we finally made it back to the car lot, you know, gliding when we get gliding. We pulled it in there and we shut it off and I went in there and I told my friend he owned the place and I said I need to get rid of this thing. <laughs> and I drove out of there with an Oldsmobile didn't even have a grill. Somebody done wrapped it around the deer or something. Amen. There wasn't no grill in it. I didn't care. Amen. I didn't care what it looked like. That thing rolled good. Amen. I said thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. This is what you want me to have to start with. Amen. So I said all that to say this. Sometimes uh, what we think is what we really want ain't what we need. Same no looking at all these men. So many people done got their gizzard tickled. Amen. Amen. We, all, we, we think this is what God wants. But it may not be what God wants. I ain't telling you that every preacher that he calls is looks like me and Austin. Some of them good looking. Amen. Some of them don't look like us. But most of the time, he chooses the foolish things to confound the wise. He chooses the things that man would walk right on the past. And he chooses to use those. Amen. He chooses to use you. Amen. Regardless of